Hey guys, so today I'm going to be filming my skincare routine video. Um, I'll kind of take you through like what I do in the morning and then what I do at night. So if you want to see what skincare products I use, then keep on watching. Um, okay, so I have in combination oily skin and my skin is very, very, very sensitive. Um, I don't really break out unless it's like the time of the month or whatever. But um, yeah, most of the time, even when I do break out, it's like red bumps. It's not really acne acne I, I do get like acne like that every once in a while but yeah for the most part i just like using products that are really really soothing really gentle and for sensitive skin because instead of me getting like an acne breakout i'll kind of get like a rash so that's the kind of skin i have okay so for the things that i use in the morning i always wash my face with the cetaphil daily facial cleanser this is the one for a combination to oily skin and it's for sensitive skin and yeah so i like using this because it doesn't really strip my skin in the morning like in the morning my skin isn't really like dirty or anything it's just like a little bit oily from you know being like asleep and like my skincare products from the night before like you know doing whatever so i like using this because it doesn't feel like it's like stripping my skin so i use this in the morning and then um I use this. This is the Dalba Talba. That's that's how I know how to pronounce it. Talba. It's a Korean brand. I don't know how to say it in English correctly. But anyway, it's Talba. This is the first serum spray. This is the white truffle first serum serum spray. And uh, I spray this all over my face, and then I pat it into my skin um, first, and then I use the propolis extract propolis vitamin c ample from formula b i think formula b is the company i don't know this is the vitamin c and propolis ample so i use this next um things that work really well for my skin is propolis yeah i love propolis stuff it like really hydrates my skin without making it super oily so i like grabbing any kind of propolis product before this i was using the cosrx propolis serum which i love but my mom knows how much i like propolis um products so she found this on like a website she was getting stuff from and it was on sale so she got it and yeah i like it it doesn't do anything like i said like i'm not trying to cure acne or whatever so like this works fine i'm just trying to hydrate my skin pretty much is like the main concern and then just keep it from like breaking out in a rash so i like using this and then this is the Kiehl's um, Creamy Eye Treatment with Avocado. This is what this looks like. This is my favorite eye cream ever. I've been using this literally since I started using eye cream when I was like 18. Um, I've gone to use other stuff, but I always come back to this. So this is a really nice hydrating eye cream from for under the eyes. And especially during the winter time when my skin is like right only right here and my nose gets oily in the winter but the rest of my face is like the sahara desert like it's so dry so i love this stuff especially in the um winter time like i like put a lot of it on underneath my eyes but yeah and then after this i love using the nature republic aloe vera um gel but any aloe vera would work and honestly next time i get aloe vera i do not want it in a container like this because it it gets really messy like on the sides on the rims here it gets really messy so maybe i'm gonna think about getting one in like a squeezy tube but anyway i like to put a lot of this on my face because every morning i gua sha my face and i use this gua sha and i go like this 10 times on both sides i go like this 10 times on both i'm not touching my face right now but i go like this 10 times on both sides and then i put it on the side to where this curve is and then i go like this 10 times on both sides and it really helps with like depuffing my face is mostly what i use it for but i think i've noticed like a little bit more definition here i really don't know but i mainly use this to depuff my face so yeah this i do every morning every morning i do and then after that i put on um, lotion for my face. This is the Cetaphil moisturizing cream for very dry to dry sensitive skin. I love Cetaphil stuff because it's made for sensitive skin, you know? So yeah, this one I've used a ton of, but I've also been using this for like years. Not this container, but this product in general, because like I said, my skin gets so dry in the winter time that I 
like need this and even then because this routine right here pretty much doesn't change it doesn't change throughout the seasons what i'll do in the winter time is kind of like use cerave like healing ointment um aquaphor does not work on my face i don't know why it just when i was younger i used to use it a lot and i guess my skin got used to it and now it doesn't work at all so i use cerave and then i'll like apply it like on my cheeks or around my lips or on my nose in the winter time because like my skin gets really really dry but i use this to moisturize my skin and then of course i use sunscreen and i heard that you have to use your sunscreen after your moisturizer correct me if i'm wrong but that's how i've been doing it for years and i use essence sun milk spf 50 from misha and it's kind of like a watery consistency so i really like it in the summertime because it's like really lightweight like i have three that i really like are the misha essence one specifically in the summertime because it is like an essence like really milky formula um in the winter time i like the cell what is it called the cell c therapy one it's a little bit thicker so i like that one i'll leave that linked down below too and the taiba one taiba has one that i really like uh so those are the three that i like kind of rotate between like sometimes like if i've used this for like one or two rounds you know one or two bottles of these and i'll like switch it up to the one other ones that i like but that's pretty much it for my morning um like skincare routine so then at night time i always use this this is the best cleansing oil ever it's the rice water bright cleansing oil from the face shop and it looks like this so obviously with the okay can you even see it yeah so obviously with the cleansing oil you want to pump it into your skin rub it all over your face get your hands a little bit wet and then emulsify it and then wash it off but this I've used a lot of cleansing oils and I always go back to this because this is the only thing that like takes off um, waterproof. I only wear waterproof mascara so this is the only thing that ever takes off waterproof mascara for me. So I love it. It's for oily combination skin if that makes a difference. But I've gone through so many bottles of this. It's crazy. But yeah, I use this and then I emulsify it. Then I, you know, wash my face with water. Then I use this, the natural lemon. I don't know where this is from, but it's just like, if you go to any Korean like beauty store, they have these foam cleansers that are like lemon or like green tea or like rice water or like the one that's from this line, rice water bright line from the face shop. They have a cleansing foam from this line too but like if you pretty much i always get them at like hmar or like um the face shop any any cleansing foam i like using that at nighttime because i like kind of getting the oils from the day and like the makeup and all that off so i double cleanse with this and then um i'll use this this is the black sugar extract from skin food this is the scrub foam um so a couple like maybe like once a week or twice a week instead of using this i'll use this so if i need like an exfoliation i'll use this one instead of this but after i cleanse my face um normally after i cleanse my face i work out so after i work out <laughs> then before i hop into the shower because i was sweating and stuff i use the cetaphil so i know that's like a lot of washing your face but that's only for the days that like i work out if i work out and I didn't have makeup on before, then I'll use this and this together. But if I had makeup on before and I'm about to work out, then I'll do this and then this. And then after my workout, I'll cleanse with this, if that makes sense. And then for my nighttime skincare routine, I like using a toner that I have to like use a cotton pad for so that if I have any remaining like dirt and oil and makeup, then the toner will take it off. Whereas in the morning, like the night before I did this routine and so I shouldn't have any makeup, which is why I don't like using a cotton pad on my face because then like my face can get red and irritated, which is why I just use the spray serum and then pat it into my skin. But at nighttime, I like getting off any extra like excess makeup. So I use the Pyongang Yul. This is the essence toner. So I put this on a um, cotton pad and I just remove it. And honestly, this one is like, it's okay. It doesn't break me out or anything. But the Cosrx one from that Propolis line, I like a lot better. So I'll also leave that link down below. But I bought this and I don't want to waste it. So I'm using it. But once I'm done with this, I'm going to reorder that Cosrx one. And um, I don't really like Cosrx. Actually, all their products pretty much don't work on my skin. If anything, they kind of make them worse. But the only thing that works from that brand for me is like that Propolis line. So the Ample and the toner. But anyway, 
this is the one I'm using. So I put a, I like wipe my face with a cotton pad. And then, so for these exfoliating products, when I feel like my skin needs like help with the exfoliation and all that, this is when I'll use it. But this Paula's Choice 2% BHA liquid exfoliant, this stuff is great. I love using this stuff, but this, the directions tell you to use it like after you use some kind of like toner. So I do this and I do this on certain days. I don't do this every day, but I just do this when I feel like my skin needs help, I guess. So I put this on and then I use from that formula Beeline the Vita C Night Glow Serum. So I, I, my mom got like the day one and the night one. So I just use this line right now. Like I said, because I love propolis stuff, but this is the night serum. It just keeps my skin hydrated. So I like it. It's nice. And then use my eye cream, the Kiehl's one. I um, use the aloe, but I don't wash on my face at nighttime. I only wash on my face in the morning. And then I use my Cetaphil. And that's what I do for day and night for my skincare. Like when I have a breakout and stuff, I kind of just let it be. Unless it's like, I can see the white like pus or whatever. I use the, there's this tea tree like pimple sticker that I use. I'll leave those linked down below. And then um, I use the Causerex. That's like, a, that's the one other thing from Causerex that actually works on my skin. The drying, it's kind of like the Mario Badescu drying lotion, but I don't use that for pimples because that does not work for pimples. I'll tell you that. Like, if you get a pimple and you put that on, that's not gonna do, that's not gonna do anything. I use that for like after my pimple is gone and they're scarring, I put that on all over my face for my acne scars and it helps fade them. I don't know what about that helps with acne scarring, but that is the only thing that I found recently that helps with my acne scars. So yeah, that's my whole skincare routine. It's really just targeted towards my combo oily skin my sensitive skin with my combo oily skin it's like really one dramatic to another like my cheeks are very very dry and then this portion of my face it's not even my full t-zone it's right here my nose and that's it so that part is super oily but yeah these are all the products that i love using and i'm like a creature of habit so most of these products stay the same like i said besides like the toner the toner and this face wash it like really i switch it up between and then same with the these but like like i said like i am a creature of habit so even though i switch those things around it's like i switch them around between like the few that i like you know so that my skin doesn't get super used to one product if you guys have any questions about you know my skincare routine leave them down below um, I'll have all the products that linked down below that I talked about in the video, not just the ones that I showed you. And if you guys have any other requests, leave them down below. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys! <laughs>